So one thing that's quite a bit different with this new Apple TV is the fact that it doesn't come with any apps preloaded. Uh, there's an app store now, which is different. Before, we would already have Netflix and a couple of other apps that we use, including a bunch of apps that we probably don't use, installed on the device. So with our new Apple TV, once it's set up, we're able to install applications from the app store onto the device and then use them just like we would on one of our mobile devices. So if you're not at this point yet and you're still working on setting up your Apple TV, you could check out a video that we recently did on how to set up your Apple TV. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. But if you're at this point and you're looking at setting up and installing applications on your device, um, then you're at the right video. So you'll take your remote and you'll scroll over and then tap to accept to get into the App Store and you'll see all the different apps that are available. Um, so, you know, so some of the apps that we're going to want to, um, to install would be Netflix, for example. So we'll go ahead and tap on Netflix and uh, we get this nice little screen here. Um, we can go ahead and then tap again to either download uh, that app or, um, or purchase it if it was a paid app. Um, you saw we have the little cloud icon, which when you see the cloud icon in the App Store, it means uh, download that app again. It means you've probably downloaded that app on another device. And I know that I have. I have Netflix on my iPod and on my iPad. So I know that I've downloaded Netflix before. If you haven't downloaded an app before, it'll either say free or the price. And then you need to, um, of course, you know, purchase that app. Uh, whether it be free or paid. And in order to purchase a paid app, you actually do have to have a credit card connected to your account, um, just like you would if you were gonna buy a movie or a show or something like that on the Apple TV. So you can see now that it does show open as uh, the option there instead of the download option, which means that the app is installed and ready to go. And I can now log in and open that app and log into my Netflix account. Um, most other apps are going to be similar to this. Um, you'll open them right up after they download and if it's a game you could begin playing the game. If it's uh, an app that requires like signing in or registering for an account, you'll get your screen here. I can then go to sign in and uh, sign into my account by putting in my email address and all that stuff. So um, I'll use you know their fun little keyboard here. Um, or alternatively, if you have your iPod or iPhone or iPad connected to your network and you have the remote application uh, that Apple has made, you can open up that application, connect to your device, and then use the keyboard to type in your username and password, which will save you a ton of time uh, as opposed to using this fun swipe style keyboard here. So very simple to install apps on the new Apple TV. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. We have a few other videos related to the Apple TV that we've linked to in the description of this video. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos and click on the like uh, to let us know that you liked this specific video. Thanks so much and we hope to see you back soon.